You have mixed colors and painted beautiful art papers. You have studied geometric and organic shapes and practiced your gluing techniques. It is now time to make a beautiful paper cutout. Hello, my talented artists. Thank you so much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do it now. I want to introduce you to a French artist named Henri Matisse. And he was born a hundred years before I was born. He was born in 1869. And here is a photograph of him painting. Matisse was known for his use of color. This painting, Toulouse Landscape, was painted when he was pretty young and it's in the Impressionist style. Matisse once wrote that he dreamt that art could be a soothing, calming influence on the mind, something like a good armchair that provides relaxation from fatigue. And this is precisely what Matisse wanted to do when he painted this painting of the goldfish. In this painting, the goldfish immediately attract our attention due to their color. The bright orange strongly contrasts with the more subtle pinks and greens that surround the fishbowl and the blue-green background. So he really was a master of color. When Matisse got older, he had to use a wheelchair, but this did not stop him from creating art. He started to do his famous paper cutouts, or another way to call it is collage. Collage is when you glue paper on other paper. In fact, he loved painting his art papers. Here's a whole bunch tacked up, drying on the wall behind him in his studio. Matisse was one of the most significant modern artists in history. You can see his artwork all around the world. In fact, here is a wall of a whole bunch of his paper cutouts in a museum. Let's look more closely at this paper cutout entitled Icarus. You may not know that Icarus is a character from a story in Greek mythology. The story goes like this. Icarus and his dad were imprisoned in a maze called a labyrinth by King Minos, and they escaped, but they were on an island named Crete. So Icarus's dad built wings so they could fly off the island and return home. But he warned his son, Icarus, don't fly too close to the sun or the wings will melt because he put the feathers in wax. Anyway, Icarus did fly too close to the sun and he fell into the ocean. I wonder if any of you can think of a story that you might want to make your paper cut out about. It could be a story that you've read, or it could be a story from your real life. Let's look at some more paper cutouts by Matisse. This paper cutout by Henri Matisse is called The Snail. I can see the spiral. Look at all those organic shapes in this Matisse paper cutout entitled The Parakeet and the Mermaid. Do you see a shape that could be a parakeet? Do you see a shape that could be a mermaid? Do you see a shape or a color that Matisse repeats over and over. I love how you're looking carefully at this artwork. You will not believe how big it is. Here it is in a museum. 
This paper cut out Nuit de Noël by Matisse is actually a design for a stained glass window. Here is the stained glass window that was made from Matisse's design. If you were going to design a stained glass window for your house using a paper cutout, I wonder what it would look like. Now it's time to open up your sketchbook and think of two ideas for your paper cutout artwork. Your artwork could illustrate part of a story or it could design a stained glass window, or possibly it could just be about an animal that you like, or really anything that you love. Just remember that whatever you pick, you should start thinking about what shapes you want to use in your paper cutout and draw some of those shapes onto your idea pages in your sketchbook. I'm looking forward to seeing what you create.